Hello everybody, this is Mark Blanton from The Real South Africa. And I am Latasha Blanton, also with The Real South Africa. And you guys are welcome to sunny South Africa. If this is your first time, this is your opportunity to come with Phil Scott with his channel. And they will be here on March 16th through the 25th, 2022. The cost does include the flight, most meals, and your domestic flight in country from Johannesburg to Cape Town. The cost is $5,500 per person sharing and $6,150 per person one in a single room. Now, at this point, you don't need any extra shots. The only thing you need to do is have a negative COVID test prior to you leaving. And then, of course, upon departure, you will get you another COVID test. And then that's it. So that's really all you need. And, of course, a passport. So no shots, no vaccines, no nothing. Just get to South Africa. We'll see you here. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ongil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is about a football star. Kurt Zuma has been fined the sum of £250,000 and had his Adidas deal cancelled. And he could also face four years in a French prison for kicking his cat. The clip resurfaced on social media and um, there was an uproar. People were mad at him for kicking his uh, cat. And um, so now Adidas has dropped him. He is, he might face four years in French prison and he's also being fined 250,000 pounds. Obviously kicking a, a cat is not right. You know, it doesn't matter how angry you are at your cat, you should not kick her. But I've had a cat and I know how they can get on your nerves, but still, we do not condone that kind of uh, action or reaction. But at the same time, people were pointing out the hypocrisy and the double standards when it comes to how people treat black footballers versus white footballers. There are a lot of white footballers that has done worse and that has been accused of worse, but they have not faced this kind of fine and they haven't even faced any kind of jail time. So you're telling us a cat being kicked is worse than an actual person, a black person being kicked because there was a white uh, football star that did the exact same thing that uh, was accused of racism and he was actually found guilty but all they did was you are not going to play for two three games and that was pretty much it so people were saying so it's better to be a cat that's what you're telling me because this guy is being fined a lot of money and he might go to jail um and other football stars were saying the exact same thing as well watch this clip we'll come back and discuss what should it be a harsh punishment for Zima for what he did what do you think i've got a question for you so, do you think what he's done is worse than racism? I mean, it's totally different, two different things, isn't it? I, you're comparing I'm, I'm, not condoning, I'm not condoning a thing that he's done. Sure. I don't agree with what he's done at all. Sure. But, there's people that's convicted, been caught for racism, and has played football afterwards. They haven't... They got punished, they got eight, eight game punishment or something like that. But people are now calling for people to be sacked from to lose their livelihood. I've just got to ask this question to everyone out there, is, is what he's done worse than what the people have done that are convicted from racism? That was his response. How come other people are not being treated the same way as he is? How come he's being demonized while other people are left alone? Not just that, Muzungus come all the way to Africa to hunt down our animals and there are so many pictures of them and videos of them hunting down our wildlife and torturing them. So you're telling me there's a difference between animals, like their lives don't matter when your people hunt them, but when a cat is being kicked, this man's life should be ruined. So. Yeah, that's the debate on social media right now. Let us know down below what your thoughts are about this fam. I am Ongil Zalal, I'm bringing you this report. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it 
in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.